It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And coming up, it'll be no holes bar between AFC North rivals. It's the Baltimore Ravens and the Cleveland Browns. And it's coming up next on Madden Football. Along the shores of Lake Erie, the dog pound already in full goal. We welcome you to Huntington Bay Field here in downtown Cleveland. A good one looming in one of the tougher divisions in football. Hi, too, Coach Greg Olson with you. Greg, this division, year in, year out, man, it is physical, it's tough, and it's always tight at the top. You get here one more year, and you look at everybody, and you can make a case that this could be a team that can make a playoff run. Yeah, and especially the case, Mike, that last year, three of the four teams made the playoffs, the only exception being the Cincinnati Bengals, who went 9-8 and eight without their star quarterback Joe Burrow down the stretch. So here you are going into this year. All four of these teams are legitimate playoff contenders, and when you look around the league, I'm not sure there's another division with a straight face that I'd be willing to say that. Pierre Strong on the return. And they bring him down just shy of the 30 yard line. The Cleveland offense set to take the field for the first time. They'll be led out by the former number one overall pick back in the 2015 draft, former Heisman winner as well, Jameis Winston. We're talking about a true gunslinger, Mike. I mean, this brings us back to the Brett Favre days. Every time this guy lets it loose, you're not sure which team's going to end up with it, but it's going to be exciting. There are times where you got to hold your breath. And let's not forget, this guy was the first overall pick for a reason. He's got the arm talent. That's undeniable. When he's playing well, his teams have a chance. He needs to eliminate some of the negatives because when he's on, man, he is fun to watch. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. We'll go play action. It's Winston. A throw. Right side taken by Najoku. And it'll be a short pickup. That's not enough for the first down. Trying to avoid the early three and out. They face third and a yard. They'll try to run it here and it's a jump. And I'll keep the drive going. He's got the first down. Pass the 40 yard line. Really just the same approach that an offense would take on a quarterback sneak, Mike. You don't necessarily have to spring them for a huge gain. Can you buy just enough space up front to pick up one yard? That's exactly what they did. Pick up the first down. Winston to throw on first down. A quick slant. Looked in by Moore. Here's second and six. A second down throw for Jameis. Going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. I got high standards for offensive players, but in this case, Mike, I think I'm giving all the credit to the defender. He timed that one up perfectly, and what could have been an easy play ends up as an incomplete. To throw, here's Winston. Looking deep here for Tillman. That is incomplete. Well read that time defensively, making a difficult downfield. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. They told us this week they were going to try to come out fast. And tell you what, that's exactly what they did. Put immediate pressure on this secondary and let them know, hey, all game long today, you better defend every blade of grass because we're coming out firing. And even though that ball falls incomplete, it goes a long way in setting up the rest of this game plan as the game unfolds. The Ravens led out by the reigning MVP of the National Football League, Lamar Jackson, already season seven. Greg, he's won a couple of MVPs, and he's as talented as we see in the league. 
Is there a more exciting guy in the NFL to watch play quarterback than this guy, Mike? I mean, one of the most dynamic athletes to ever play the position. And what's truly unique about him is his ability to beat you both as a runner and equally as a passer. And that's really where his game has developed. Defensive coordinators, they don't sleep very much when they know they're facing this guy and all the problems that he presents. That's caught. Derrick Henry. That was not what they were hoping for. He's going to go out of bounds behind the line. A loss on that one. What they teach these backs is when you catch a check down, immediately try to get vertical. Try to put a hole in the defense coming to rally tackle. So give credit to the defense here. They strung this out and made him go sideways. And they forced him to go so far sideways, he went out of bounds. It's a short one caught by Andrews. And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five. The drag route is such a good way to get the ball early into the hands of your tight end and take some pressure off the quarterback and give him an easy completion. The size and the athleticism allows them to try to pick up more yards but do it after the catch. On third down, Jackson. And that is incomplete. Remember what they told us, Mike, leading up to this game. They said it is so critical for us to find success, especially on third down. We want to maintain possession, extend these drives. Well, the first crack comes up, and they fail through the air, and we have to regroup and be able to have better success throughout the remainder of this game. And that's a nice job of getting to him, making sure that return was not going anywhere. The Browns offense ready to possess the football for the second time. They'll search for the first points of this game as they begin the drive on first and ten. On the ground, it's Chubb to start this drive. <laughs> It will be taken down, but not before he gets to the Browns' 28-yard line. A big run by Chubb. 39 yards. This just shows why you can't count on just one guy to take him down. He's a powerful enough runner. You've got to have guys coming in support when that first hit is made. It takes a team effort to stop him, especially once he gets going. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and 10. Once again, it's Chubb. He'll move the pile forward. Let's give him a couple. Roquan Smith there to bring him down. Look him up on a second down and eight. On the handoff, this is Chubb. Still get a first down at the one. First and ten, they go from the 11. Here's a handoff to Chuck. He'll struggle to get back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe he gets a yard out of that one. It's second down. defense all over this one they get him behind the line of scrimmage a loss of a couple anytime the running back is forced to chop his feet in the background and never get to top speed you know that play's not going anywhere that's exactly what the defense was able to force here by getting penetration great job there stopping this play before he had a chance to even get started from the gun Winston under pressure and he'll go down they got him the big man, Namdi Matabike, there for the sack. The best thing they did here, Mike, is keep their rush lane integrity. What that means is you have to rush the quarterback as a unit. 
Keep him in the pocket. Keep him on that X. And when you do, man, he becomes a sitting duck for this pass rush. Fourth down, Dustin Hopkins now for the Browns field goal. Officially, it's a 36-yard attempt. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Browns will take a 3-0 lead. And I think this is going to end up being considered a successful drive, Mike. I think, obviously, you would have loved to see them come down and convert and score a touchdown. But at the very least, they needed to come away with three. They were able to do that and take a lead on that field goal. So after the field goal to open up the scoring, the kicker's back out for this kickoff. Justice Hill to return. And he'll be taken down right at the 29-yard line. The Ravens offense ready for their second possession. This one has been tight so far. A field goal separating the two sides. As this drive kicks off with first and ten. In motion comes Andrews. Jackson now to throw on first down. Brought in by the tight end, Andrews. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. They run with the longtime Titan. It's Derrick Henry. He's taken down, but just shy of midfield. First down run here by Henry. And I mean, he signed with the Ravens this offseason. And you think back to that run he had with the Titans, Mike, over the last six seasons, over 8,200 yards, 80 touchdowns. I mean, one of the most productive backs we've seen in a long time. Now it's kind of scary to think he gets to join Lamar Jackson in this Baltimore backfield. They hope the two of them can be that combo to finally get this Baltimore team over the hump. Now, following the run, one of the offensive linemen leading the way is a bit shaken up. Athletic training staff looking at him, so we'll step aside. Jackson now on second down. And that ball in and out of his hands. It is incomplete. Might tell you after the game he should have come up with that one. He doesn't. And now third down comes up. Oftentimes it's the wide open ones that are the hardest to catch. It seems like the ball is in the air forever. You start overthinking it. You start really making more of it than what you should. And you let it slip away. He'll try and get there on the ground. And that's a great job defensively here on third down. Not only taking away all the options down the field through the air, but when the quarterback decides to turn into a runner himself, they're able to converge and make the play and keep him short of the first down. Here's Jordan Stout now. The punt for the second time, looking to pin the opponent back deep. No chance of a run back here. This one's going to sail out of bounds. Now it's the Browns' turn as they get set to take over again on offense. They'll look to build on their 3 0 lead as this drive starts with a first and 10. scrimmage nothing more so often when it comes to safeties Mike we talk about their speed and their range but for him to be able to come up and make a tackle and be physical at the point of attack and keep this ball carrier to no gain that's pretty impressive here's Chuck 
It's a Browns first down. This offense has to be thrilled, Mike, with the success they've had here on the ground in this opening quarter. Now as the rest of the game unfolds, everything in the game plan continues to open up. Now Chuck. And that'll be good for about a half dozen. It will set up second down. play fake it's Jameis and that's going to be incomplete coverage was good that time the contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down sometimes it's those footsteps I don't care how long you've been playing or at what level you've been playing at and that defender is bearing down you really get a good idea of what guys are willing to go through contact to secure a catch and in this case what guys are unwilling and that is incomplete. And this passing game continues to come up short these last couple plays. That's two consecutive incompletions in a row. Now they're staring fourth down right in the face. Here's Corey Bajorquez now. And he is hoping to improve on his first attempt. Oh, how good was that? Out of bounds, and they're going to mark it at the two. The Ravens offense getting those helmets back on, ready to head out for their next possession. And they're going to hear it from this crowd. They're backed up deep as they start first and ten. start out on the ground with Henry and he'll take this forward for about three it's second down out of that one. Lane closed quickly. And here comes third down. It's the tight end likely in motion. Jackson on third and two. And that is incomplete. Long four hill that time. Good cover. Able to knock it away. Pretty clear approach here, Mike. You're just trying to take advantage of the size of your tight end versus a smaller defender. And you're just saying box him out and go up for an offensive rebound and get the ball at its highest point. In this case, it falls incomplete. But if they continue to get that matchup, his quarterback's not going to shy away from giving his big tight end a shot. And he's going to be brought down after a short return. And that's where his team will get possession of the football. Nick Chubb and the rest of the Browns offense set to take over again. And he has made his presence felt in the ground game already in this first quarter. And it might very well lean on him the next three quarters, too. They'll come up here first and ten. They'll go with Chubb. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. What we're seeing here in this first half, Mike, is an example of the offensive line, the running back, and the play caller all on the same page. The execution and the ability to continue to pick up chunk plays on the ground has been a great start for this offense. On first and ten, it's Chubb. And this time, they are ready for him. He'll be thrown for a loss. No big game that carry. It's second down. 
Every team makes an emphasis on winning first down, but as a defense, when you're able to take them back for a loss, second and long, you can really become more of a pass-centric defense and really tips the scales into your favor. That's into the hands of Judy on the right side. They need to get to the 29 here, facing third down. Winston looking to throw. That's caught. It's the tight end, Najuku. And he will have the first down. The drive will continue after a pickup of eight. So a big third down hookup takes us to the break. 3-0 is our score. And we're back to Cleveland in a minute. Unbalanced look here to the right side on first and ten. On play action, Winston. He's going to tuck it and go. Initially, Mike, a really good job by the defense. Nowhere to go with the ball for this quarterback. He's forced to pull it down and turn into a runner. A little slow reaction, and he's able to actually pick up a pretty good game. Here's second and two. Running is Chubb. And he'll have enough to move the chain. We'll take this forward for about three yards. This is a situation that play callers love to be in, Mike. They have all their options on the table. Second and short, play action pass. You can run. In this case, they choose to keep it on the ground, play it safe, pick up the first down. On the zone read, they hand it to Chubb. And he finds a little bit of space. He'll take this forward for a gain of four. Here's a second and six. Out of the gun, it's Winston. Oh, and this one's going to wind up incomplete. That's one you'd think he'd be able to corral. But he can't find the handle, and it's going to lead to a third down. Nick Chubb, the intended target there. And it's going to bring up a third down. Winston. And they're going to track him down. He couldn't find the receiver, and down he goes. If you want to win in this league and have a successful defense, how you perform on third down is critical. Even more so, your backs are up against the wall. The offense finds themselves down in the red zone looking for six. Those third down sacks go a long way to keeping touchdowns off the board and making them settle for field goals. Dustin Hopkins on now for the field goal. Officially, it's a 36-yard attempt. Three for three in the game, as this one is also good. And the Browns, on the strength of two field goals, take a 6 to nothing lead. So the lead stands at 6 0 as this one is kicked off. Tylen Wallace now on the return. Now an opening past the 30. A good return as he takes it across the 30. The Ravens offense ready to get back at it. They're still in search for their first points in this one, but only trailing 6 0. And this drive will begin with the first down. Give. Here's Henry. 
and he'll plow forward for a gain of four yards. Second down, Jackson. And the whistle him down, but not before he picks up a first down after a gain of seven. One of the easiest ways to negate these really good pass rushes in the NFL, Mike, is just to simply get the ball out of the quarterback's hand as fast as possible. And sometimes it's by design, sometimes it's based on need. But really nice job there by the quarterback. Get into the hands of his receiver and then see what he can do after the catch. to bring him down for a sack and that's something the reigning defensive player of the year was able to do 14 times just a season ago I'm not sure there's a more dynamic or dominant defensive lineman in the entire week last play went the wrong way it sets up second and long it's second down and 12 contact and they get one of the defenders to jump. It's the tight end likely in motion. From the gun, Jackson. To the tight end, likely. And they'll work this close to a first down, maybe just a tad short. Third and a yard. Bateman is the motion man. Jackson, this is a design run. He's down right at the 40, but that is good enough to move the chains. First down. Sometimes, Mike, the best plan is also the simplest plan. And for this team, just snap the ball to your quarterback, let him find some daylight, and go get that first down himself. They'll come up first and 10 at the 40. And the shotgun, here's Jackson. He's got Andrews. They'll come up here on second down and five. It's a zone read, and Jackson's going to keep it. Now, after the run, we get a stoppage for an injured player. As the athletic training staff looks at him, we'll step away for a moment. Aguilar goes off in motion. They'll try and run for this with Henry. And they bring him down at the 23, but that will do just fine. Move the chains. First down picked up. Nothing real fancy about this call here, Mike, right? And this third and short, just get the ball to your running back, make sure he has enough space to pick up the first down, and they're able to convert. Set to go now on first and 10. They'll go again here with Henry. And good blocking up front, paving the way for a game of eight on the ground. The 
Come to the line now on second and two. Aguilar goes off in motion. A give right up the middle to Henry. And he tries to get back to the line of scrimmage, but will not happen here. He's going to lose a yard. The offense thinks that they can just kind of plow this one up there in the middle and keep the chains moving, but not on this defense. Not only do they not pick up the first down, but after suffering that loss, now they've got some decisions to make on third. It's the tight end likely in motion. Third and short, Jackson. Coming up, and that's the tight end likely. And the Ravens are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. I love the way the ball's been moving around to different guys this drive, Mike. I mean, it really keeps the defense guessing and off balance. And now this defense is going to have to figure out how to keep this offense out of the end zone because it's first and goal. Bateman is the motion man. Design run here with Jackson. He'll be wrapped up there down at the three-yard line. Down in the red zone, design quarterback runs are a handful for defenses to account for. But in this case, give him credit. Not a lot of room to maneuver here for the quarterback. And they keep it to a short game. Ball at the three, second down, and goal. Henry tries to pull his way in. Good drive. They kept the ball. Greg, they moved it effectively down the field and finish it off on the ground for the touchdown. So often, Mike, we see teams work on a great drive to get down here close, only to settle for a field goal. But in this case, give them a lot of credit. They put a great drive together, but they're able to capitalize and finish it off with six. Now, Justin Tucker for the point after. The kick is good. And the Ravens move out in front by a point. It's 7-6. to six. is Tucker and he'll kick this one away after the touchdown was scored on the return it's Jerome Ford oh he's got room past the 30 nice job by the return team as he takes it across the 30 yard line the Browns offense make their way out to take over once more the deficit is one as they'll search now for that go ahead score Here's first and ten. To throw is Winston. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Well, it's pretty clear the main reason why they find themselves trailing in this game, Mike, has really just been the inefficiency of this offense. And primarily out of the quarterback position. I mean, to complete less than half of your pass attempts, it just makes it very hard to compete at a high level consistently in the NFL. And if they want to find themselves having any chance of getting back into this game and winning this one, he's going to have to get a lot better with the ball. Here comes third and six. Throwing, Jameis. Backs to the open man, and it's Tillman. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. Throwing with anticipation, it not only requires the confidence in both your accuracy and the timing, 
but it also forces the receiver to be on time and where the quarterback expects you to be. And this is one of those examples, man. When those two things are on point, it results in a first down. We'll try the zone read on first and ten. And some good footwork there. He'll take this forward for a gain of eight. Good decision by the quarterback. In this situation, all you're looking to do is have a positive play. He decides to pull it, and that's exactly what he's able to do. On the ground, it's Chubb. Down the sideline, inside the 25. And he's going to be out of bounds, and that will take us to the two-minute warning. So here's a chance to take the lead going into the locker room. It's first and goal. Here's Jameis. Uh, nowhere to get away, and he's going to go down. And now we're seeing the game kind of go back and forth. Each team trading blows, trying to establish control over the other. Nice chunk play on the previous play. The defense responds back with a sack, and to see which team can establish a little bit more of this control as the game unfolds. All the way back at the 14 now. Second down and goal. To throw, Winston. And he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on. That's incomplete. So as halftime looms, Mike, they have to find a way to capitalize on this drive right here and make sure they end the half with some sort of points. Now, that incompletion, not ideal, but at the very least, it stops the clock. Catch your breath, get back in the huddle, and this next play, it's got to be a gotta have it. Score, Greg. They continue to get points, but after not getting touchdowns, this has to feel really good to this offense. It really does, and I think anytime you can build on your confidence that now you know the rest of this game, you can finish these good drives. Coming away with two field goals, those are wins for the defense. So now a win for the offensive side of the ball, and gotta see now if you can keep this rolling throughout the rest of this game. The point up and good from Hopkins. And the Browns are in the lead by the score of 13 to 7. Here's Hopkins now after the touchdown. He'll boot this one away. Here comes Hill on the return. And they'll be set up well as he is past the 35-yard line. Derrick Henry heading out along with the rest of this Ravens offense. The deficit, six points. A touchdown here would be mighty nice for the offense. See what they can do on this drive. First and ten. He'll get it into the hands of Zay Flowers. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. And now you can see they're really getting in rhythm in this two-minute drive. Now, after that last completion, Mike, they cross midfield. Now the mindset goes to, all right, we got to come away with some points. They've got a quarterback who's in complete control, and they got to see if they can finish this thing off. 
from the 39. Here's a first and 10. In motion comes Andrews. A first down throw for Jackson. He'll tuck it and take off. Now the Ravens use their first time out as they get it right at the 30-second mark of this first half. to throw Jackson a pass pulled in by Henry and that's a first down it will be a gain of eight Jackson looking to throw. That's over the middle to the tight end, Andrews. The Ravens now going to use their final timeout. is Justin Tucker to try the field goal. This a 31-yard attempt. Tucker's kick is good. And the Ravens will cut the lead from six down to three. And that's a really nice boost here before the break. I mean, you work the clock well. You're able to steal some points. The biggest thing is you're able to build a little momentum now going into the locker room at halftime. Just one second remaining in this first half, and they will kick it away. And this one is fielded in the end zone, will not be returned. So it'll come out to the 30. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. And they'll let them to run another play. Instead, just take a knee and take this on into the locker room. So we hit halftime here in Cleveland, and the Browns are in front. As we'll send you down to Orlando now, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Mike, thanks very much, and welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports halftime report. We saw a terrific first half from the Browns quarterback, Jameis Winston. He was on point, throwing a touchdown pass to help his guys take the lead into the break. Coach, thanks. This one's still anyone's game. We'll see who can come out with a hot hand in the second half. About to get started. Three points. All that separates these two sides as half number two kicks off. Here comes Hill on the return. And this will work out quite well. He'll get it all the way out to the 30-yard line. The Ravens offense looking to get back to work as we begin this third quarter. They'll start out first down and 10. In motion comes Andrews. On first and ten, Jackson. A throw, left side, blocked by Andrews. And they'll 
get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. the tight end likely in motion on first down they'll stay on the ground with Henry well they weren't going to get him the second time with the same back defense all over that one they stop him for no game you want to see linebackers play downhill Mike meaning there's not a lot of side to side pursuit they're attacking the line of scrimmage attacking the ball carrier that's exactly what we saw out of this guy here he's able to make the stop at the line of scrimmage and keep it to no game Sets up first and goal. This defense has had their share of troubles trying to contain this quarterback today, Mike. This time they go to the zone read. The defender goes after the running back, and the quarterback pulls it, keeps it himself, and has a huge gain for a first down. Ball resting on the nine. First down and goal. Now it's Jackson. Over the end line, it's incomplete. Denzel Ward in there defensively to knock it away. The defender saw this the entire way, Mike. He actually ran the route before the receiver even got to his spot. But unfortunately, this one didn't end up getting picked and going the other way. On oh, the handoff, it's Henry. And he's going to be stopped in his tracks. He'll lose a couple of yards on that one. The number one rule of run blocking for the offensive line is you don't want to allow penetration. It just doesn't give your running back any angles to cut and find the hole. It's exactly how it played out here. They've got to do a better job holding the line of scrimmage and not getting pushed back. 
It's the tight end, Likely, in motion. Third and goal for Jackson. And he's going to be taken down. Sacked back at the 17-yard line. You have to wonder if we look back at the end of this game, Mike, and say, was this a prime opportunity for this offense that they blew after that third down sack? Opportunity to take the lead here late in the game, and instead, I think there's a real decision about whether or not they should just take the three and chip away at this lead. Out is Justin Tucker to try the field goal. This from 34 yards. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Ravens will tie the game here in the third quarter. So touchdowns are always the primary goal of every drive. But when you find yourself down three here in the second half, you've just got to find a way to tie the game up. And they were able to do that here. things up and we're back at it as this picks away here comes Ford on the return across the 20 will mark him down before the 25 yard line that's where the offense will take over the Browns offense and their star running back Nick Chubb set to take over once more and you have to imagine the defense is saying how do we stop this guy he has run rough shot through him to this point in the third quarter So here's a first and 10 now. They'll start from the 24. From the gun, Winston. There's a short throw caught by Najoku. And a muck him down just shy of the 40. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play. And it wasn't a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down, a quick underneath completion. And then really, it's the yards after catch that did the rest. And that's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look. Sometimes players need to make plays, and that was a good one there. He's got a touchdown on the books from earlier, and that catch gets him a first down. They call this the alley. So it's the area between the hash marks and the numbers. And depending on what defense they're in, there is a lot of space to be had down those seams. So if this defense doesn't make a couple of adjustments, I wouldn't expect this offense to target any other place on this field. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. And Mike, you know the best time to pick up first downs is? On first downs. Don't wait for third down. We see it here. Three plays in a row, three first downs on chunk plays, and this offense is rolling. On first down, it's Winston. A throw, right side, taken by Njoku. After the catch, he gets that forward for a gain of nine. So the hope is, when you call these underneath drag routes, you're trying to have your tight end come out the back side of the defense in space. So when you put the ball on him early, it leads to big yards after the catch. In this case, they don't get the real big play they were hoping for, but they'll definitely take it. He's able to get away from one man, but those reinforcements, they got there quick. Take him down behind the line. When you can get this level of run support out of your secondary, Mike, man, what an advantage for any defense. This defensive back clearly reads run, gets off his block, and he's able to take down the back for a loss of yards. Winston looking to throw. Now sets up a screen for Chuck. And great determination as he gets forward and picks up the first down. The most impressive thing about this drive, Mike, has really just been their efficiency. They've just continued to pick up first downs, fresh sets of downs. We just saw there with that third down conversion. Continue to possess the ball. These opportunities to come away with points continue to go up. He's to the 10. And they finally get him down, but not before he brings it to the four-yard line. 
Sometimes all it takes is that one key block to spring this back. He's just so good in open space. And, man, that was a heck of a run, and it sets up first and goal. From the four-yard line, trying to punch it in. First down and goal. Here's Chuck. He trying to push forward, but only a yard down to the two. A little closer. Here's second and goal. A second down throw for Jameis. The pressure gets there, and down he goes. A sack. That last sack is exactly why defensive coaches preach over and over. Just play the next down. Just continue to make them snap the ball again. You're one big defensive play from changing everything about this drive, and... But once looked like a promising drive, following that sack, looks a little bit different now. Now they operate from back at the nine, and it's third down and goal. Out of the gun, it's Winston. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Got to give a lot of credit here to the coverage unit, Mike. There was plenty of time for the quarterback to work through his progression. I thought the protection was actually pretty solid. But at the end of it, there was just nowhere to go, and he had no choice but to just throw that ball away. Dustin Hopkins on now for the field goal. This, about as short as you can get. Three for three in the game, as this one is also good. And the Browns will take the lead here in the third quarter. Job number one on this drive, find a way to get the lead. They, of course, would have loved to score a touchdown, Mike. But three points here... That's a pretty good consolation prize as it moves him out in front. So Hopkins now following the main field goal. Back out to send it away. Here comes Hill on the return. And their drive will begin at the 30-yard line. So here's the Baltimore offense getting set for their next drive. They'll start it here with a first and ten. Shotgun, here's Jackson. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Here's a second and three fourth cut. Bateman is the motion man. They'll run. It's Henry. And he's going to be brought down up past the 45. This is a guy who's been doing it at a high level, Mike, for a long time. Not too many running backs finding success in the NFL past the age of 30. That's usually when they kind of ride off into the sunset. But as always, there's the exception to every rule. Jackson now to throw on first down. There's the veteran tight end, Andrew. And he'll get about eight on that one. Most of it coming after the catch. It's second down. Not every pass has to be thrown downfield. You can rely on the run after catch, especially a big body like this tight end. Get the ball in his hands early and let him pick up the rest after the catch. Pistol give to Henry. And he'll be stacked up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. Great job by that linebacker timing his blitz. He didn't give any indication to the offense that he was coming. And he's able to get through that hole and take the ball carrier down for a loss. Now, whistles here. Looks like one of the defenders got a head start.
So they come to the line for first down and 10. Aguilar goes off in motion. From the gun, Jackson. Looking into the middle, there's Flowers. And it'll be brought down as we tick towards the end of this third quarter. So these teams trade field goals in the third as we come to the end of the quarter. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. It's the tight end likely in motion. Now Jackson. He'll go right back to Flowers. And he takes it down to the 15-yard line. And this is a tricky part of the game for any defense. You find yourself protecting a late lead. And the age-old question is, do you remain aggressive? Do you try to just keep the ball from being thrown over your head and make everything be tackled and played in front of you? That's what every defensive coordinator struggles with. So they can't get too soft here as they try to hold on to this lead here late. Aguilar goes off in motion. A oh, very nice defensive play there. They'll let you complete passes if they're going to end up like that. It's a completion, but a loss of yards. After the loss of three, it is second and 13. slot receiver and then letting him get to work. It's a nice feeling as a quarterback when you can just have a short throw and still result in a big game. Here we go. Third and a yard. Jackson. That is caught. down Ravens what a game this has been back and forth we go and that fourth quarter score changes the lead one more time and we've seen the lead go back and forth Mike and now the question is can they get a stop can they find a way defensively to hang on to this lead and get themselves this big win Tucker for the point after. He's got it. And the Ravens have taken a four-point advantage. So now playing with the lead after that fourth quarter touchdown. Time to kick it back the other way. On the return, this is strong. And it'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. The Browns offense ready to get back to work. The trail by four, touchdown gives them the lead. Drive begins with first and ten. He'll keep it on the ground. He'll work his way ahead for a gain of about four. Here's a second and six. To throw, Winston. 
A throw there on second down, going to be incomplete. They're lucky to have avoided this mistake here, Mike. In the fourth quarter, with possessions running out, that would have been a critical back-breaking play in this game. And they're going to have second life now after that defender drops the ball. And let's see if they can take advantage of it. Off the play fake, it's Jameis. He's got his man complete. That's Judy. They get 16 on that connection. First down, Cleveland. And how about the poise of this quarterback? You find yourself down here late in the fourth quarter, Mike, facing a tough third down. You've got to have it. But you know what? He calls the play, he breaks the huddle. He's like, you know what, Coach? I got it. That's a big-time throw to now keep this drive alive as they go down looking for that go-ahead touchdown. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Timing and trust. Critical elements of this quick passing game. If your target and the quarterback are not on the same page, it winds up being an incompletion and a wasted down. They'll stick to the ground. And he'll get this one across midfield. Brought down after a pickup of a half dozen. play coming up. This is third down. To throw is with this one intercepted. Oh, big hole left side. And he is going to score. A pick six for the touchdown. What a time for a pick six for the defense as the other team is trying to get themselves right back in this one. The defense extends the margin with the pick six. Yeah, just a critical moment. You find yourself on defense, Mike, trying to hang on to this lead. And not only do you do that, you pick six them, and you're able to extend that lead. Point after now from Tucker. He knocks it through. And the Ravens will open it up even further here in this fourth quarter. Out there is Tucker, and he'll kick this one away after the touchdown was scored. Here comes Ford on the return. And he'll be set up well as he is past the 35-yard line. The home team's offense ready to take over possession of the football. And look, they've been out of sorts throughout, Greg. They haven't had any answer for this pass rush all game. Yeah, and it's really showing up in the sacks and also just in their ability to prevent any yards, any completions. This has just been a dominant pass defense performance here, and everything starts with the rush. The quarterback's uncomfortable. The clock gets sped up. He's got guys in his face. It's a lot easier to play defensive back and in some of these coverage units when you know that ball's got to come out fast. And right now, they're teeing off and taking advantage of it. They'll run here. A short pickup to the 38. Second down and eight. Here's Jameis. To the left side, he's got the Joku. And they'll work this close to a first down, maybe just a tad short. The drag route. We used to say this is day one install. Every single offense in the NFL has this sort of route. 
especially for the tight end position. And depending on the speed and the run after catch ability of the tight end, sometimes it can lead to some of the biggest gains. Oh, and that throw not able to be pulled in. It's incomplete. Looked like he may have got a little ahead of himself there. And it's going to bring up fourth down. And on that third down, they thought an easy way to pick it up and get some positive yards would go to their quick game, but it didn't seem like the receiver and the quarterback were on the same page, and now brings up fourth down. They'll try it now with Chubb. Titans were trying to escape. The defense, though, was on that, and finally, they bring him down behind the line. And a great job here by the defense being strong up inside, forcing the ball carrier to have to bounce this out towards the sideline, and he can't get the corner, and they come up with a huge fourth down stop. The visitors' offense ready to take over once more. We'll have a short field in front of them as they try to extend this lead out further. They'll come up here first and ten. On the give, here's Henry. And he'll get about six there, setting up second down. Goes off in motion. Gonna go right back to Henry. And that is going nowhere fast. Disastrous play. A big loss. You have to appreciate the effort. The guy's given everything he has to try to make something out of nothing, but understand sometimes you just have to live to survive another down and not take a big loss. Bateman is the motion man. On play action, here's Jackson. And that is incomplete. Searching for his Pro Bowl tight end, Mark Andrews, that time. And it's going to bring up fourth down. A rare miss for a quarterback that we've seen really come out on fire throughout this entire contest. I mean, his completion percentage, Mike, is well above league average. And... Frankly, it's really the biggest reason why they find themselves out in front. This one angles out of bounds, and the mark comes inside the 15-yard line. The home team's offense ready to come back out for this next possession. This will start from the 12, trying to put a drive together here. It's first and 10. To throw here's Winston a pressure there got to him he's hit as he threw it and that pass falls incomplete this has really been the story of this entire game Mike I mean this pass rush has had the advantage over the offense pretty much from the jump and they've already recorded a couple of sacks a handful of close calls and it's the pressure in the backfield is why this team finds themselves with the lead here late in this ballgame and that's gonna be incomplete coverage was good that time the contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down really nice job there by the defense defending the middle of the field that is the most valuable real estate on the field they know every single offense is trying to attack the defense between the hashes so give credit they took away all the throwing lanes and that ball falls incomplete and that is incomplete well, we all know the running joke, right, Mike? If this guy could catch, he'd be playing offense. And, well, I think that's kind of a joke for the past. These defensive players are incredible these days. That's just too easy. You've got to secure that interception for your defense and get off the field. Now or never, they'll throw on fourth down. And that's going to be incomplete. They had to take that chance. Trailing here in the fourth, 
but they will turn it over on down. So this offense, they think this is a prime opportunity to go for it through the air on fourth down, but this defense was having none of it. Nowhere for the quarterback to go with the ball, no easy completions, and this defense forces a huge stop on fourth down. The break the huddle coming up now for first and ten. No motion over Flowers. A first down throw for Jackson. He's got it at the three. This may look like a simple connection, Mike, just pitch and catch, but I can promise you the amount of time these two guys have spent together on the practice field, in the meeting rooms, just getting on the same page, seeing the game through the same set of eyes, makes what's pretty difficult seem a lot easier. He'll try to run this one in. Powering forward. He's in. Derrick Henry. Touchdown, Baltimore. Two touchdowns for him now on the afternoon. Greg, that's one of those scores where it's not completely over, but it's getting to be about that time. Yeah, Mike, I just think they're entering miracle stage right now, and I just don't think there's any coming back from this deficit. Extra point try now for Tucker. It's up and through. And the Ravens tack on one more to their lead. Out there is Tucker, and he'll kick this one away after the touchdown was scored. On the return, this is strong. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The Browns offense getting their final instructions before heading back onto the field. Things not looking good. But see if they get the turnaround going here. They'll start this drive with first down. Winston to throw. Oh, he doesn't put it away, and the ball is out. And the defense has it. Mike, we hear that term run after catch so often, and sometimes people miss that there's kind of a middle phase. There's the catch. But before it turns into a run, you have to secure the ball as a ball carrier, right? It needs to be put away, properly held, points of pressure, front tip up against your body. All of that is kind of taken for granted. Catching it is just step one. You've got to secure the ball before you become a runner. Set to go now on first and 10. Complete. Similar to a tight end, the slot receiver is often considered the safety blanket. He makes all the difficult catches, tends to be a little bit more around the line of scrimmage, and so far today, he's certainly lived up to that reputation. Second and a yard. Jackson looking to throw. Throw left side, cut by Andrews. And he's going to have a first down. He's forced out. Nice pickup of nine. When you put plays like this on tape, it sends a message to every defender across the league. When you play this offense and this guy has the ball, you better bring it when you come to contact him, because if not, you're going to be on the wrong end of it. On first and ten. 
Jackson. He pulls it in around the five. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. Jackson going to keep this one himself. And he will do it himself. He's in. Lamar Jackson. Touchdown, Ravens. That is second touchdown of the afternoon. And that touchdown probably, Greg, ends any small hopes of a comeback on the other side. Yeah, and I think those chances, Mike, were small to begin with. But with that last score, I think this one is pretty much over. Tucker for the point after. He's got it. And the Ravens are going to extend their lead. Out there is Tucker, and he'll kick this one away after the touchdown was scored. Here comes Ford on the return. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The home team's offense and Jameis Winston getting set to go to work again. And it's been a struggle all afternoon. The defense done a great job taking him away from his game, taking his weapons away, and he is yet to find anything to lean on in this one. Here's first and ten. From the gun, Winston. It's a short throw caught by Najoku. And he'll get about eight on that one. Most of it coming after the catch. It's second down. Winston looking to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Defensively, that's just a missed opportunity, Mike. Anytime you have two defenders in the area and neither one of them is able to make a play on the ball, yes, I know that the ball felt incomplete, but, man, you got to get your hands on that ball and take advantage. And he's going to go down yet again. He has been under fire all game long. If they win this game, this pass rush is going to be a big reason why. The five sacks speak for itself, but their ability to disrupt the timing of this offense, that can't be overstated. Let's see what they do here. This is fourth and long. They'll go. Winston. That one on target to Moore. He's going to pick up the Browns first down. And it's a big letdown there defensively. Somehow they allow them to convert on fourth and long. the gun it's Winston on throw right side taken by Najoku and they get this one across midfield to the 47 yard line 
You know, it's really been a one-sided game, but how often do we see in the fourth quarter the team that finds themselves down by a lot, they start to come alive. I think it's a combination of trying to end the game on a positive note, but also sometimes that defense getting a little lackadaisical. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Jerry Judy, the intended target. It's second down. Second down throw for Jameis. Now sets up a screen for Chubb. And he's going to be taken down. And that will take us to the two-minute warning. Third and six. Winston. That is incomplete. Here we go. They're down to what could be their final play. It's fourth down. This is one of those situations that plays directly into the hands of the defense because think like they know this offense has to be one-dimensional. This has to be a pass. So what do they do? They bring in extra defensive backs. They clog up the back end. And at the end of the day, there's just nowhere for the offense to go with the ball. He's got his man. Right side. It's complete. And he's going to have a Browns first down. They'll have it by a lot. It turns out to be a big gainer on fourth down. Throwing, Jameis. That's over the middle to his tight end, Njoku. An enviable spot to operate from. Here's second in inches. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. He's got to find a way to hold on to that one. I mean, you're right on the doorstep of the end zone. And listen, I understand that hit is coming. But guess what? That hit's coming whether you catch it or not. And you get paid to make the difficult catches. And I would classify that one as tough. But you got to make that catch. Give your team a chance to come away with this drive and some points third and inches you see a lot of teams try to take a shot why Mike because they know on fourth and inches they still have a chance to convert the first down the shot wasn't there but they're still able to pick up a nice game and convert and bring up first down this offensive line just has no answers right now it's another set and the big guys up front in the offensive line just continue to not be on the same page. And we've seen it time and time again here today. This pass rush remains one step ahead of them. And it's the quarterback who continues to pay the price. Now we'll get a timeout, Cleveland. That's their second as they get it with 16 seconds remaining on the clock. Second and goal. Now Winston. And this is going to be a touchdown. It's too long, too late. We do get a bit closer as they score here in the final minute of play. That is a heartbreaker for the defense. They took away what he wanted to do in the air, Greg, but that scrambling ability gets him to the end zone for the touchdown. And the reason he was able to take advantage with his legs here, Mike, is he made a fast decision realizing there was nowhere to go with the ball. The amount of guys the defense had in coverage took those passes away. He tucked the ball down, took advantage of the space, and he was able to take it all the way. 
extra point up and good from Hopkins. And the Browns are able to edge a bit closer. So the kickoff team out there one final time in the final minute as they kick it away. This one will be taken in the end zone. No run back forthcoming. And the ball coming out to the 30-yard line. First and 10. Down to a knee, here goes Jackson. And that should do it. And that'll do it for my partner, Greg Olson. For our entire team, I'm Mike Tarifa. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. So long, everybody.